Sunday, December 31st, New Year's Eve. Well, back in 1963, New Year's Eve, there was a snowstorm, a very heavy snowstorm. Still, the Kileys showed up. Uncle Tom, Aunt Eleanor, and the kids, they came plowing through the snow slowly down Mountain Avenue and First Street. And the car doors opened and a whole pile of people just came rolling out of the car. Cousins uh, Kevin and, and Mike and, and little Patty, they joined Ricky Cramshaw and me. We were sleigh riding on First Street. So we only had two sleds, so we all had to take turns. The rest of them all went into the house. And we're going down the, the hill taking turns. And at one point, I'm sitting on a sled with little Patty. And as we're shooting down the hill past McIntosh House, little Patty says, this is so good. And I said, what, sledding? She said, no, being here. Huh. I mean, here we were just sledding and, and wet and cold, you know. But she was happy. Inside, inside the house, there was uh, all, uh, all sorts of people. Ricky Cramshaw just sort of fell in amongst them all, and he was just a part of it. Rosie, my cousin Rosie Serena, was fascinated with Ricky Cramshaw's eyelashes. His, his upper eyelashes went down, and the bottom ones went up. Yeah. So she was taking him around the house, introducing him to all her brothers and sisters and pointing out that their uppers went up and their bottom ones went down as opposed to the other way around. And he was fascinated that they had all these weird eyelashes. <laughs> In the kitchen was Aunt Eleanor, Aunt Peggy, and my mom. Tessie, my mom, was telling him a funny story about life in Hilbert. I looked in the kitchen and I saw the three of them laughing and I thought, wow, these three middle-aged women, these mothers all, you know, they, they make it look so easy. It wasn't easy. No. Years later, Tessie would tell me that she shared a lot with Eleanor and with Peggy. Mostly what they laughed at were their disappointments, sharing all of their disappointments, the little ones, the big ones. That got them to laugh together. Huh. In the living room was uh, Uncle Tom Kylie and, and Uncle Joe Serino. Now, these are two very, very different men. I mean, Joe is uh, vivacious, outgoing, excitable. He's a celebration of life. And Uncle Tom, serious, pondering thinker. Two very different styles. It was always curious to see these two men together, especially when they were with Walt, because Walt was their ultimate audience. And, uh, well, just, just watching them interact was, was kind of fun. And at one point, at one point, Uncle Tom said, Walter, how is uh, Mal doing? And Uncle Joe said, now there's an idea, Tom. Uh, Walt, let's go see Mal. And so Walt said, all right. And they got up and everybody got up. The whole house full of people. We all got on our coats and our, our gloves and our mittens and our boots and our hats and everything. We all piled out into the snowstorm, walked up First Street and across over to Second Street to see Uncle Mal and Aunt Evelyn. And then the party really kicked in. 10.30 at night, and they kicked in with all of these people. Well, I'll tell you about that tomorrow. See you then.